U.S. hypersonic test vehicle Bolt 1B reaches Mach 7.2 over Norway, unlocking new insights into boundary layer transition. Welcome to Global Defense. The United States Air Force has achieved a significant milestone in hypersonic technology with the successful flight of its Bolt 1B test vehicle. This advanced hypersonic vehicle, designed and built by the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, APL, recently completed a high-speed flight over Norway, reaching an astonishing speed of Mach 7.2, which is seven times the speed of sound. The flight, which took place on September 2nd, 2024, launched from the Andoya Space Suborbital Site in Norway and reached a peak altitude of 157 miles, 254 kilometers, before splashing down in the designated impact zone in the Norwegian Sea. The Bolt 1B hypersonic test vehicle aims to explore a critical phenomenon in hypersonic flight known as boundary layer transition. This transition involves the flow of air around the surface of a hypersonic vehicle, which significantly affects the vehicle's aerodynamic drag and heating. As a hypersonic vehicle moves through the atmosphere, it encounters both laminar, smooth, and turbulent chaotic airflows. Understanding when and how the flow changes from laminar to turbulent is essential for designing effective hypersonic vehicles, as turbulent flows can increase heat transfer by up to eight times compared to laminar flows. This knowledge is crucial in selecting the right materials and optimizing designs for aircraft and missiles that travel at hypersonic speeds. This experiment is a collaborative effort between the Air Force Office of Scientific Research, the Air Force Research Laboratory Aerospace Systems Directorate, AFRLS RQ, the German Aerospace Center, DLR, and APL. The Bolt 1B vehicle was equipped with over 400 instruments specifically designed to measure the characteristics of the boundary layer transition on its surface. The locations for these instruments were strategically selected based on extensive research to provide the most valuable data on airflow physics at hypersonic speeds. The data obtained from this test is expected to play a vital role in enhancing future hypersonic vehicle designs. According to Brad Wheaton, chief scientist with the Vehicle Design and Technologies Group at APL and the principal investigator for the project, this data will be essential for developing better modeling methods that reduce uncertainties and improve performance. This will help engineers and scientists optimize future hypersonic vehicles, making them more efficient and effective in their roles. Thomas Gansmo, Director of Sounding Rockets and Engineering Services at Andoya Space Suborbital, emphasized the importance of this achievement, congratulating the entire team on the successful campaign. The data from this experiment will provide invaluable insights into one of the most challenging aspects of hypersonic flight, enabling more precise predictions and robust designs for future aerospace innovations. Thank you for tuning in to Global Defense. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on our latest updates. Share this with others who are passionate about defense technology. Thank you for listening to Global Defense.